The next thing that we want to do with our catalog is to allow us to search through the metadata that we're going to need in order to learn more about these data sets. Um, first of all, let's kind of look at what a, a metadata file looks like. So I'm going to click on counties here and then switch to description. And I'm going to get a, a summary of information about that county file. So I get a, a, a thumbnail, some keywords, a summary of it, um, what scale it's from, credits, and any use limitations. And this is kind of a limited metadata. It's only got four or five fields. There's some additional stuff that we're going to need, um, and we're going to learn more about metadata later. We want to look at what's called the full FGDC metadata for this data set. Uh, we need to make some changes in our catalog to be able to see that. So I'm going to go up to Customize here and look at our catalog options. I see a bunch of tabs on the window that pops up, and I'm interested in metadata. Yay. All right. Now, here it's got uh, an option for the style. This is really going to determine what our catalog shows of this, this metadata stuff. And I want to switch to what we use for, for most of this class in this FGDC. Uh, metadata. That's an acronym. We'll learn more about that that later. So I'm going to click on FGDC, say apply, and OK. All right, switch off of counties and then back to it. And now I've got a lot more information here about that data set. Um, its extent. Uh, we're going to be paying attention to things like its spatial reference, what coordinate system it's in. Um, we're also going to be interested in the attribute information. Um, realize that this is a little bit overwhelming at first, and you're going to have to kind of uh, look through here and read between the lines of what some of this stuff means. Um, some of it makes sense. Some of it is, is stuff you realize is not going to be important for you for a while. All right, so that's what a metadata file looks like for a particular file, the full metadata. Now what I want to be able to do is to search through all the metadata. What I, maybe I want to look for a file that was done by um, uh, the Wisconsin DNR. And I'm looking for all stuff that was done by the DNR. So I'm going to mouse over this and, and search the search tab to the right here, and it's going to pop up the search window. I'm going to pin that for the moment. And then I'm going to go to the search options. And what I need this to do is actually scan through all that metadata and build what's called an index. It's, this is what search engines do in order to operate quickly is they scan all that data, allow you to th find things like DNR. So I've switched to the index tab if it's not already available. I'm going to register folders here. So I'm going to click on the add button and say which folders do I want it to actually to, uh, to register or to index. I'm going to go to my Geography GIS um, and then if I did that whole thing that might take a while. So I'm going to add just a couple here. I'll just add Wisconsin just to start out with. So it's going to scan the metadata for all the files in the Wisconsin folder. Alright. <clears throat> it's going to look for every new items every 60 minutes. We can leave these uh, for the most um, part of the defaults and I'm going to say apply here. I notice here in indexing status that it says indexing so now it's going through and scanning those. Now this will do this in the background so I don't have to sit here and wait for it to finish uh, it'll take a little while to go through all those data sets so I'm just going to say OK and I'm going to go back to whatever I was doing. So that's how we'll view metadata within our catalog and set up the index so that we can use this search later to find things within the metadata. Thanks.